Well, it's because I ate earlier. I hear that. That pleases me to no end. <laughs> yeah. I had delicious macaroni. Oh, I heard myself, so we're live. Yeah, I'm putting it in. Great. I'm putting it on Instagram. Awesome. Uh, go live, go live. Oh, dang it. I cool. wish I had said this thing that I was going to say before we went live. Now I can't. <laughs> now you can't. <laughs> now I can't. I'll tell you after if you remind me. I will tell you to allude to it without mentioning outright what it is. Uh, there were people on horses walking up and down my street today, which I will say is wild considering it's literally like two feet away from a Harris Teeter. So you just see horses out in front of the grocery store and you're like, huh, yeah. I do live in North Carolina, don't I? <laughs> oh yeah. Never forget. <laughs> yeah, never, never forget. All right. I think so. I've put myself on the stream. I see us okay. live on YouTube. Are we live on Facebook hey. as well? I see us live can on I, Facebook. Fantastic. Can I just say nice eyeliner? Thank you. <laughs> I definitely didn't mess it up and have to retouch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Going awesome. Back to painting. Yeah. Now. Uh, awesome. Okay. We gonna say hi to all our cool. Viewers? Yeah, we gotta say we gotta say hi to all our folks. So, <laughs> um, cool. Well, welcome. Uh, happy Saturday, all. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending where you are in the world. Um, thanks for joining Dogs Bond for a very special um, art live stream. Um, this might this might be our very final one because we are. Uh, done with the art that we plan to get uh, get all prepared for you guys um, before we go to Kickstarter. So if you haven't seen, haven't heard, um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, but join the pack. It's on our website. Um, you know, sign up for the Kickstarter updates. We're going to keep you apprised of what's happening with the actual uh, actual game get you some insights to the project timelines and things that we just can't really get across fully on social media so we welcome you guys all to that um all to the kickstarter uh email page and uh yeah sign up uh, as always we are joined by uh, and watching the screen of <laughs> sarah our illustrator art Hi. director technical coordinator <laughs> um all things all things wonderful. And uh, also to Kiki, our uh, lead graphics designer who helps us with the design and, and uh, the icons, as well as the layouts and um, oh, some really great stuff with like box art and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, also to Kiki. <laughs> oh, I would, <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to share um, that, that I don't know when, when is a good time to share that, but oh man, is it exciting. Mm, it made me so, so happy exciting. to see. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> it made me happier to actually find a mock-up that worked. It took me about an hour and a half to find one. Wow. So, yeah. Well, I'm so glad awesome. you did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great work. Great work being done. So yeah. So um yeah. So this is our team. Like everyone is here. So <laughs> our small and mighty team, if you didn't know, is three people. So thank you so much. Um, and uh, you know, if this is your first time watching one of our live streams, uh, hello and welcome. So, um, Dogs Bond, it's a board game for dog people by dog people. We are going to take players on a rescue journey of their own. As they take on the role of a dog within a rescue shelter environment, they're going to collect and sometimes compete with one another for the attributes they need to be adopted into one of six forever homes. So, um, all dogs uh, have a happy ending. They go home with one of the adopters. Right now, our game is two to four players, and there are six adopters. So, you know, pretty good odds there. Um, of course, we have, if you are, you know, not great at games or, you know, you are playing the game with a younger, you know, younger player and you're just trying to feed them a couple cards, um, there is also, too, of course, the sanctuary card where all dogs will have their day and you find out how the story continues for that dog um, across. So yeah, if you haven't 
had an opportunity, again, I'll plug the uh, really great um, design uh, website that we just relaunched, www.dogsbondgame.com. Um, you can go there, check out you know, some of the illustrations, some of the other illustrations. Um, you can take a look at a how to play video. It's about nine and a half minutes. And uh, you can meet the dogs that are in the game. Um, so yeah. Um, Wonderful. So this is a really exciting time for Dogs Bond. We are finishing the art. I can't believe I'm saying that. Finishing <laughs> the art. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah it's it's been piece. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last piece. We're ready. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll give them just a, a little history on the project. Um, you know, I started developing the, the whole concept back in 2017, doing uh, game mechanics and design. And then I thought about the theme and, you know, incorporating this rescue story and uh, how can we make this conversation, right, a much more uh, family-friendly uh, type of conversation? And how can we do it in a way that would also, too, bring folks together? Um, you know, I think specifically of my family. I've got a nephew uh, who's 15. I've got a niece who's, uh, you know, 11, 12. And I've got another nephew who's set, um, turning 10. And you know, I thought, how do I how do I play a game? What game is going to be interesting to all three, right? Besides like charades or maybe heads up or you know other party games, um, and how do I introduce them to some different board game um, board game mechanics that they may be haven't seen? So uh, created that and uh, had a lot of fit starts. And in 2019, I got really really serious about this game. Um, you know, development-wise, it had been play-tested over two years. Thanks again, all my friends who are out there <laughs> listening and watching this, who put up with some really wonderful prototypes, and I mean like <laughs> early days prototypes. So um, they 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 got all we worked all the uh, worked all the bugs out of the system and really created a really you know great game that kind of told that story. We then brought on uh, Sarah in October and Kiki in January. And they've really just brought it to life. I mean, look at you know the Jack Russell that we've got right now. This is mm -hmm. just one of the dogs that Sarah paints, and it's just really lovely. Um, so yeah, let me let me pause there and just kind of gush a little bit about the the art that we're seeing, since this is an art stream. <laughs> so Sarah, talk a little bit about the uh, talk to us a little bit about the art, and maybe Kiki, you can as well. You know, weigh mm -hmm. in here about what the um, you know what the what now that you're coming up on the end of the you know of the art for this board game like has your opinion of kind of what we put together changed has it you know evolved mm -hmm. um yeah so i think the um it, it hasn't changed much it's just that i have come to a deeper understanding of like the concepts that we settled on initially um about like uh, so like we've we've talked before about um your coming to North Carolina in December Alex when we were starting like to really you know crank up work on this project and the like experience of playing the game seeing it like in person moving cards around the table really understanding like how am I connecting with this and how can I help the art to continue that connection with other people like it hasn't changed but it has definitely deepened as I've continued to work on it, continue to play test it, um, put it in tabletop simulator. You know, um, it's just like become a different and more, I, I, I don't know, it's it's really hard to explain. Um, I've <laughs> There's a storytelling guru who I've met and who's a super cool dude named Brian McDonald. Um, and he is like, he, he knows stories. Nobody else does storytelling the way that this guy does it. And he teaches classes and he says that often he gets people to ask him for like, when do I get to graduate to the advanced class? You know, and he's, he always says that like, there isn't an advanced class. There's not advanced techniques. You learn what you need to learn at first, and then you just spend your whole life trying to understand those concepts deeper. Um, so yeah, yeah, like looking back at this project, I feel very much that way of, you know, it, nothing has changed, but I also like, it hasn't stopped evolving. Like we weren't wrong about anything that we 
uh, assessed at first, but as I've continued to work and like understand more about like, not just in my own painting, but in what makes a good card, what's a good story beat for a project like this. Like, I just want to go back and reassess like, yeah, I understood some of the bones, but I want to go back and do more, <laughs> you know, like we've come so far, but also there's so far that we could go, you know? Um, so I guess what I'm saying is uh, pledge to us on Kickstarter so that we can do um, Frog's Bond and Cat's Bond <laughs> and all the other ones so that like our, like, yeah. the evolution of the ethos um, can continue. Yeah, I don't know if that's, about, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. How about for you, Kiki? What do you, like, you know, you got, you also got to see the game in its, well, I'll call that its infancy, right? You saw prototype <laughs> cards, you got to play with the early mechanics like how has this how has the you know the visual changed for you from like what you maybe thought about initially to what we've got now um i think today's experience has really kind of it, it can succinctly sum up my my overall experience with this like when i held the the powerpoint cards in my hand it was kind of like a this is cool you know like i can see this being a game like <laughs> this, this resembles a game like you know all the everything is here it's a cool concept but now I feel like after after the more and more art that I saw along the way I'm just kind of like huh this is a thing and then putting it into the design and like having all of those like classic game elements being added as we go like seeing the final piece today I'm like this is a real dang thing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I keep having those moments of like, yeah. of course this is a, re it's always been a real thing. Like when Alex right, presented yeah. it, it has always been a real thing, but it's like right. every time I see the next thing, like the box design, or I, I had this thought when you showed us the logo, I was like, oh my God, this is real. And then you showed us yeah. the card designs. I'm like, whoa, it's so real. And then seeing it in tabletop, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's a real, like, yes, of course it is. <laughs> Yeah. It was it yeah. was never not going to be a thing, but like I just keep having that experience of like, dang, we made oh. we made something. Yeah, it's a real dang thing. Um, <laughs> it's a real dang thing. And it's, That's right. It's just like the gift that keeps on giving because we just keep having those experiences. Yeah. <laughs> like Sarah said, there's been numerous milestones that just make you feel like, oh yeah, this is this is getting real. Mm -hmm. so. I, can you imagine mm -hmm. holding the prototype oh. in your hands? <laughs> No, I can't. I can you imagine <laughs> holding the like the final manufactured piece after pulling it off the shelf in a game store? Absolutely not. That? Yeah, yeah, no. I can't either. <laughs> it's gonna blow my mind. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So um, cool. Well, uh, so yeah. So this is our team um, again, and thank you if you've been watching our live streams uh you know for for a while here or if you're brand new welcome um you know and and it's really going to take the community now um you know to make this happen so um you know one of the really exciting things that's happened over the last uh week since we when we spoke to you uh last week is um we went out and we you know we had we we talked about some of the rescues that were partnering with us. And these are rescues that we knew locally who um, whom I have, you know, either personally volunteered for, worked with, you know, adopted from, that sort of a thing. And um, we have, you know, we, we of course had our first rescue who joined us, the Golden Gate Bassett Rescue. And we love you guys, thank you again. Hi Addy, hi Susan, um, you guys are great. And so, so what we did was, you know, from those lessons, we really packaged up all of what we're trying to do um, into really great press kits. Thanks again, Kiki, with the different illustrations. And then we you know we we wrote we wrote some stuff that we thought would resonate right with the um, with the rescues there. So I'm happy, very very happy and delighted to announce that we have a total at the minute at the minute. 40 rescues signed wow. up with us wow. to make this project happen and the and and we still have more to come because i recognize right all of these are nonprofit, volunteer based volunteer run sometimes it's like they've got to get it to committee they've got to you know do some have some conversations but we um you know we're here for you 
right? And we really want to make this the board game of all dog people. And so uh, I'm going to read the names. Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Oh Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So number one, uh, we have in, in no particular order except for number one, the <laughs> Golden Gate Basset Rescue. We have the I Care, uh, oh, sorry, Golden Gate Basset Rescue, and that's from New York, California. Mm -hmm. I Care Dog Rescue, San Rancho Santa Margarita in California. Brandy Sled Dog Rescue, Central California. That's Pacific Grove, California. The United Doberman Rescue and Canine Castaways of Minnesota from Buffalo, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Shaw Pitbull Rescue Incorporated there in Columbus, Mississippi. Wow. Tina's Canine Rescue and Animal Sanctuary, Sparta, Wisconsin. Hearts for Rescue, Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Born Again Rescue and Kennel, or Bark for short, <laughs> in McMinnville, Tennessee. Tail to Paw Animal Support, East Haven, Connecticut. J&R Aquatic Animal Rescue, yes. Manassa, yeah. Wisconsin. Shout out to them water people, dogs. <laughs> yeah. that, yep, we, let's do those water, water dogs. <laughs> um, people United for Pets Rescue, that's in Cloverdale, Indiana. The Houston Homeless Pet Project, Spring, Texas. Fairy Tales Rescue, Rumford, Maine. Town and Country Canine Rescue from Cortland Manor in New York. Mid Cities Animal Rescue, North Richland Hills, Texas. Lucky Dog Refuge, Stamford, Connecticut. Fix Georgia Pets, Atlanta, Georgia. Mila's Mutts, a rescued group, Battleground, Washington. Save Our Strays, Fort Bend from Sugarland, Texas. Road Home Rescue from Cary, North Carolina. Hey. Nice. Rump and Paws Rescue, Arlington, Washington. Arizona Center for Animal Rescue and Education, AZ Care. Queen Creek, Arizona. Saving Great Animals, Seattle, Washington. Good Karma, Middlesex, Vermont. <laughs> for our Underdogs Refuge Outreach and Networking, Four on Four. Fayette, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, yeah. Rest <laughs> Oh, Fayetteville. Sorry, <laughs> no worries. I'm, I'm from I'm from California. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lot about geography in this. Set it like my GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Rescues Rascals, Oswego, Illinois. South County Tailwaggers, Gilroy, California. Hey, that's right here. Hey. Um, Mercy Sake Second Chance Dogs in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hillcrest Animal Rescue in Farmersville, Texas. TJ's Rescue Hideaway, Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Osriel's Place, Lyons, Illinois. Sand Springs Animal Welfare, Sand Springs, Oklahoma. Pooch Savers Rescue, that's in Dallas, Texas. Um, the Northeast Ohio Greyhound Rescue, Austinburg, Ooh. Ohio. Sarge's Animal Rescue, that's in Waynesville, North Carolina. Louisiana Husky Rescue, Fi Lafayette, Louisiana. Urgent Animals of Fort, Wor Fort Worth, Haslett, Texas. Lucy's House Bully Rescue, Indianapolis, Indiana. Adopt Me Rescue in Studio City, California. And and I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce the city right. Save Tehapachi's Teha Orphaned Pets, or Stop from hmm. Tehapachi, California. And hey, I see you guys there in uh, in Facebook. Hey. Um, so thanks for joining us live. Yeah. Um, good to see you, Marsha. Thank you again. So, um, and any any rescues there in the um, in the YouTube chat that I missed? I don't, no, I don't I think don't so. Think I see L. Elfie who asked how much it is to join the pack, and he uh, let them know that it it's free to join the pack. Um, but yeah, that it's free. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to give yeah. money to you. <laughs> We're trying to give money to you. So yeah. <laughs> um, we know that these are big hearted volunteers who sometimes get overworked, right? And so we are trying to do our very best to prepare, you know, a really good, a really great product, a really great board game that you're gonna be proud to have on your shelves or, you know, in your virtual store or, you know, in, in whatever fundraiser, fundraiser mode that you have. So um, thank you if you're with us live uh, and, and just shy or, you know, if you're on, on live with us, thank you again. Or if you're watching this in the future, welcome, right? And if you didn't hear your name, well, 
go to www.dogsbondgame.com top right corner join the pack and sign up your rescue mm -hmm. it's free yeah. kiki said so, so. <laughs> it is free yeah <laughs> although we should we clarify that there's you can you can join the pack for kickstarter or of course yes yeah. so so um yeah so that's great 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 call out so in the join the pack button you're going to see two two options you can join Kickstarter, which is going to be for your individuals. And that's where we're asking rescues to send your supporters mm -hmm. in order for, uh, for them to sign up directly with us. We know that you've spent years working with and curating your contacts list. We're not buying the lists. We are asking you to advocate to your, to your supporters that, hey, this is a good project. They're going to be donating, you know, part of the initial Kickstarter fundraise to us and um, you know, working with us for years to come. So we really want to get, you know, this as a grassroots outreach um, and ask you to go to your audience. Now, we're going to write a lot of that copy for you. We're going to write those Facebook, Instagram, Twitter messages for you. Um, but it's really important that, you know, you engage with us on social media so that we can start getting that grassroots growth and, you know, all the Facebook and Instagram algorithms can start paying attention to us. But um, you know, it's really it's really up to up to all of us, right? And I hope that we can all join. Oh, hey! And while I've been on the you know been on been talking, another rescue just signed up. I don't know hey. who you are, just because I haven't. I I I, I want to keep uh, my my um, Facebook and live feed uh, on, but I will get back to you. <laughs> so thanks for signing up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, signing up. I'm a little busy at the second, but I will get to you. <laughs> yeah. We, yes, exactly. We have a commitment. We do try. We are trying to keep it, you know, nice and tight. Turn it around. But just like you, we are volunteering, uh, you know, a lot of our time towards this. Um, so yeah, thanks again for everybody's patience as well. You guys are great. And it is so, so exciting to get rescues coming on. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you guys remember how? You guys remember? I, I mean, I don't know how it felt. I always knew that I, my plan was to go to rescues and say. Dogs Bond is for you. It's a it's a story that embeds, that infuses the rescue journey with joy and play and whimsy and fun. But then we can have good deep conversations with one another, right? So when I had all this in my mind, like I knew what I needed to do, but did that feel real when I when I was talking about it <laughs> all those months ago with my PowerPoint cards? <laughs> I mean it. It didn't feel like, I mean, it, it's one of those things just like we were just talking about of like, <laughs> it, I always knew, we always knew this was going to be a thing, but it, it just like continues to feel more and more like a real thing. Um, as much as it is right now, I'm sure it's going to continue to be that way of like, what, it's, it's a real thing. Um, and that like seeing rescues sign up was definitely one of those things. It's like, I shouldn't feel surprised by this because it's been the plan from literally day one. And yet, yeah. <laughs> it's still like a, a, a delight and a surprise to see people actually like, you know, getting excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally, totally. So, we're super excited. Um, if you are a rescue or cons or you're if you're one of those rescues that's still considering joining us, we really, really want your support, um, and we really, really want to give our support to you. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So today's stream of course we're going to be watching sarah finish up the art uh, sarah you want to introduce the card or talk a little bit about the card and sure. kiki maybe the design that you've chosen for or the design of it as well mm -hmm. yeah so this is the i saved it for last because <laughs> we haven't done um all of the dogs in one painting so far um i knew it was going to take me a long time it. but um <laughs> it's for a special card it's for the instinct card and that card determines when you it, it is a choice you can either uh steal some cards from somebody else or you can use it to give yourself an advantage to get adopted um but it's alex has always uh referred to instinct in like a, a dog's instinct is to love <laughs> which is like such <gasps> oh sorry hang on do we got hang on can we get a check check uh audio from y'all uh, I can there we go. Fine. Perfect. Great. Yep. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, again, Alex always said like, you know, a dog's instinct is to love, which is adorable. Um, but it also made me think of like, what do we, what do we even do for the instinct card? How do we like, you know, if, if it's about 
the dog's eagerness to get adopted, you know, because it determines who goes first, then like, think about all of these dogs in a shelter. It's adoption day. What are they feeling? And my first thought was like, oh, they're all on it. <laughs> they're all at attention <laughs> immediately, as cute as they can be, like, you know, looking at the player. Hey, hi, aren't I sweet? You know, aren't I cute? Aren't I the best groomed, most, like, best temperament, um, healthiest and most obedient dog that I could possibly be? Adopt me! Um, so, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it took a lot of, uh, effort to squeeze them all in, in a way that fits, but you can see I'm toggling the, um, uh, border of the instinct card here, um, just to, like, make sure that everybody's face fits in frame. <laughs> yeah, um, he, I don't know, uh, the, well, I've got the instinct uh, icon up here as well, if you want to talk about that, it's on screen. Um, sure. Uh, to me, maybe I'm just thinking about it too much from a human perspective, but I feel like there's a moment when your instinct kicks in, like when you're doing something, <laughs> and it's just like the the freeze and like the the lock on, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, I always think mm-hmm. of like the the cartoon glint in the eye. Mm-hmm. You, you you lock on your target. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think what else <laughs> I <laughs> no. could talk about design wise here. Um, mm-hmm. Not well, not much. It's a it's a dark color. Um, it is, yeah. Uh, darker than the other like the other attribute colors you can see here, um, being red, yellow, green, and blue. Um, and uh, or like coral and gold. I don't know if the green has a special name, but <laughs> um, it's a uh, special green. <laughs> special green, coral, gold, okay. special green, and dog spawn blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dogs on blue, that's it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I wanted it to uh to be a little darker, I think, to to stand out for one and um for two. It's the only class of cards that like directly attacks somebody else for the most part. There's some other ones sprinkled in there, but now they're the same color so it matches. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But uh yeah. Yep. And great ways to, you know, affect the other player's strategy, right? But it's all in good fun and, you know, this can be canceled and, you know, mm-hmm. it, it, there's a lot of inter- interplay. Uh, again, if you haven't seen, uh, if you're interested in a full gameplay, we have uh, full gameplays and uh, for, with first time players um, on our YouTube. So mm-hmm. you can go there too. Um, cool. But so... yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just said it was uh, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, exactly. So cool. So um, great. I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of what's what's in it for the rescues, uh, you know, why join the pack, and uh, also to do a few kind of uh, housekeeping items. Things like, well, what is Kickstarter? Why are we asking the rescues to help us? And what is it that we're actually asking them to do versus, you know, just liking a page or, you know, things like that. So um, let's start off with what is Kickstarter. So if you don't know, Kickstarter is um, a crowdfunding platform. So it's a website where creators can go, creators like us, we go and we say, hey, we have this idea. We might be, you know, you can be at any stage of development. You can have an idea. Um, you can have, you know, half of a prototype. You can have what we have, which is a fully functioning game and art and all the things are done. We just need to, you know, get some pre-orders in. Um, you can have, you know, uh, lots of different things. And they, they do both, they do board games, they do personal items, they do artwork. I mean, Kickstarter is is really great for uh, for creators. And so uh, the, crowd, the crowd and community get to go to Kickstarter. You basically put in your pre-order for a Kickstarter and then, um, you know, and that way you contribute to this project and really bring it to life. Um, it it succeeds or it fails. So a goal of a goal of uh, dollars is set, and if you meet that goal or beat that goal, then off you go, right? Um, if you fail, nobody gets charged any money, right? So rescues who might have had this question, who have this question, right? If what if we pre-order and you don't successfully fund am i going to get half a thing is it you know is there any chance or any gamble that's what i love about kickstarter there's no risk 
to the people who are pre-ordering. If we fail to meet our funding goals, no one's charged any money. Of course, with that, that means that we don't get to produce a game, nor do we get to donate any money. But you know, no, at least there's 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 pretty much no risk to any of the backers or to any of the rescues. Um, the risk really would be ours, right? Because we've dedicated some of us have dedicated three years to our of our lives to <laughs> to bringing this to you. <laughs> um, so don't let us fail. So let's talk about what happens next when we succeed, right? Let's Kiki speak it into the universe. What are we going to do here? <laughs> We are going to raise eight million dollars on Kickstarter <laughs> and retire to yacht life. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. <laughs> yes, there it is. You heard it here first. You heard it here um, first. <laughs> so, um, you know, Kickstarter is a wonderful platform for creators like us. Um, you know, folks who want to go directly to the community and make something really special, really magical happen. Right. So. Um, the just for context and history and you can look it up the the most the most backed board game on kickstarter is a game called exploding kittens so it, the theme is quite different than than ours right <laughs> um but uh on kickstarter they had two hundred and nineteen thousand people back the project they raised over they raised just just under nine million dollars okay so we, you know, and and there and it's for cats, which is great, right? Um, well, the theme is cats. There were I don't think that there were any donations. So, um, with your help, with the rest, with the help of the rescues network, um, you know, rescue family here in the United States, and you know, next step is really to try to go international with this. Um, you know, you can help us bring this to life, right? Um, because I think that there are lots of dog people out there. This is a game for dog people, but by dog people. If you don't know what kind of dog people we are, like watch some of our other art streams where we talk about dogs, where we, we actually had um, we had the rescue, some of our rescues on live stream before. The Golden Gate Basset Rescue was uh, joined us when we revealed art that included a Basset Hound. Um, yeah, check it out. Um, but, you know, wouldn't it be nice, right? Let's, let's hit that, let's hit, let's hit the goal that Kiki set for us of eight million dollars <laughs> right and uh you know and then what does that mean to the rescues right we're, well we're going to you know our organization our business right we intend to calculate that and then donate a portion of that to the rescues all of the rescues irrespective of the size you know you might have brought you know brought us 10 10 purchasers or you know a hundred thousand purchasers like we want to give we want to give to rescues no matter their shape and size um, because it's going to take us all to make this happen. So, um, you know, so that, that's really important. I think that, you know, the smaller rescues sometimes get overlooked by, you know, medium.com or vice.com kind of like, you know, big, big plays. I think this, this is a great way um, for us, right, Dogs Bond to really kind of bring all of these rescues. I mean, we've got 40 rescues behind us today, right? Who knows what next week is going to bring? And, um, you know, we're really interested to, you know, kind of push that forwards. So um, I hope that you're uh, interested. If you need to learn more about Kickstarter, visit their website and, uh, yeah, learn all about it. Um, why are we asking rescues for help? Well, I mean, this story is your story. This story is our story. Um, all, all three of us have, uh, you know, dogs. We've volunteered at rescue shelters. We've volunteered with rescue. We've donated. We're, you know... And, and we're still interested in donating, right? So we need your help, um, whether that's, you know, to just spread the word, um, you know, talk to your supporters and, um, you know, just just help us out, right? We can all, we can all win with this. Um, what do we need you to do? So, um, you know, we have a welcome packet, a welcome kit, that we're trying that we get out to everybody we then ask and collect your information kiki is our graphic designer as i mentioned and she is getting a hold of your logos so um kiki why don't you talk a little bit about kind of what it is you need in a logo that you're looking for and what you're going to do with it for for our rescues mm -hmm. oh okay cool um yeah generally speaking you want a logo to be uh for our high res as you can manage, mm -hmm. uh, meaning 
uh, how do I explain in layman, layman's terms what the resolution is? Um, just a, a high I, I, quality. Yeah, right? high not, quality. Not pixelated. Mm -hmm. Not like icon size, mm -hmm. like tiny on your screen. Like mm -hmm. a pretty, pretty good size mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm. um, Framed it is, what would you want to see on a T-shirt? Mm -hmm. So if you're providing yeah. your logo to a T-shirt maker, yeah, right? Okay. Uh -huh. That's you know, that's that's kind of the that's the that's the that's the size and the quality of the image. That's that's how I used it. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, if it mm -hmm. if you so happen to have it in vector form, that would be great. Um, mm -hmm. But it, having it transparent <laughs> is is very good as well. If it's just a PNG, that's just good as a as a vector file. Um, oh, I think. Sorry, not to interrupt. I think um, whatever whoever made your logo, whatever they gave you, like yeah. as close to the original pristine thing as you can give us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably best. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, a lot of people lose track uh, mm -hmm. of it. Uh, yeah. You, uh, mm -hmm. but and like, then they just have, like, the the download from the website, and they're using that, passing it around. And, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, whatever is the most original version. And even yeah. if, like, it, it, even if it is a download from the website, then, like, that's probably better than the one that's been kicked around Facebook a bunch of times. Right, yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah. Um, and we're going to use that to announce uh, or give. We're going to give them a graphic, right, to announce mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. joining us. We, then, I want you know. Hopefully, both of us can announce it at the same time, or at least the same day. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make this um, announcement graphic with a picture uh, and your logo on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just let everybody know that like. To, to let your uh, followers know, your rescue family, um, that like, hey, <laughs> there's a fun new way that like you can support us and get something cool out of it, um, right. which is like a board game all mm -hmm. about rescue dogs. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so get us those logos, high resolution. <laughs> you should have that all that information in your welcome email. Um, and if you don't have that, because you haven't signed up your rescue yet, go to www.dogspawncame. <laughs> <laughs> Click that little button up there, the top right-hand corner, and sign up your rescue. Um, but yeah, then you'll then you'll get all the materials to submit your logo, and we are cranking those just as fast as we can. Um, and yeah, we're hoping to do our big social media announcements, uh, you know, starting next week, um, ish. And uh, yeah, we'll get that all to you. Um, so that way, you know, you you'll have an official new a new custom image with your logo and our logo all together, mm -hmm. and you can then share it out with your uh, followers on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, in your email lists, whatever it is that you do to connect and communicate with your rescue family. You know, we really need that. Um, you know, we really need that uh, grassroots, ground level type of uh, promotion from you. So. Um, you know, and all we're you know all we're asking for is a little bit of elbow grease, right? But I know we're all doing it for the right reasons and for you know to help improve the lives of animals, right? That's our that's our mission here is to really help those organizations, you, um, you know, continue the good work that you're doing. Um, and you know, for us, we wanted to make a cool board game with art, with cool game mechanics that uh, you know can bring a family to, to, to the table um, in a casual kind of, you know, game that's meant for multi-generational play. So we've tested this thing with ages 10 years, uh, players as young as 10 years old, some nine-year-olds, they're pretty advanced, they got a little help. Um, mm -hmm. And then all the way, you know, up through, you know, 65, 70 year olds as well. And everyone has a great time. It is a game that everyone can enjoy. Um, and I think that that's a really interesting and kind of challenging balance to have achieved where everyone who's playing still feels like they're, you know, in control in some form or fashion. And, um, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, fun to play across all ages. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to craft all those materials for you. We're getting those out just as soon as we can. And, um, yeah, we appreciate your patience. We are, again, a team of three. <laughs> and really when it comes down to this, Kiki, does it? 
So yeah, <laughs> a team yeah. Of, you know, we uh, in terms of one like, person doing. It. Yeah, in terms of like <laughs> logos and graphics and stuff, it is a team of one at present. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and she's a trooper. I'm trying, trying my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> cool. Um, anything else that you know, team, you guys want to add about? you know, getting, getting the word out there or, you know, ideas that you would provide to, you know, rescues in how to share this message once we get them the, the custom graphic and stuff, like other ideas? Well, I do have an idea that I haven't run past you yet. So maybe that's a, uh, I mean, I, so like, I want to, I want to play this game. Uh, I want to like, it's, it's on tabletop and we've been able to play it. And so like, I don't know if there are any rescues that have access to tabletop sim um, and want to play with like their rescue family or their donors or whatever. Um, that's it's just another fun way to connect with your audience, um, mm -hmm. you know. And like Definitely. it's it's hard to give out recommendations for how to connect with your audience because like that's that's like y'all y'all being rescues, um, you know, know it, know your people better than us. <laughs> um, so you know, I I can't be like here's a fun way to interact with your own family because like you know that already. Um, but like, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know who, who doesn't like board games and, uh, yeah, we're bringing everybody back. You know, when we, when we are going to have everybody back together around the table, you know, I know that it's going to be with groups of people who are, you know, much close, you know, very close to one another. Right. And so like, what are we going to do? Right. We're going to start playing some board games. We're going to start having those conversations, you know, start having great conversations and um, yeah, so it's 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 a again the, the game is designed with dog people in mind, right? It's not uh, what we call what the what a game what in the gamer community is called a heavy game, right? Um, the gameplay is you know once you know how to play it, it's about twenty minutes per player, and if you're sitting for people, then that's maybe you know, an hour twenty, not too bad, and uh, it's pretty good value uh, for entertainment purposes these days, right? I know. Like for me, when I go to the movies with my family, uh, or when I used to go to the movies <laughs> with my family, you know, it'd be like, it's like a hundred bucks, you know, a hundred, 120 bucks, 150 bucks just to get us all in, you know, and then, you know, snacks and food and things like that. Uh, you know, our game is going to be much more, you know, competitively priced and, uh, you know, a good time for all and, uh, you know, make some stories too when you're, when you're all together. Mm -hmm. Um, Cool. So uh, another question that uh, I got online uh, quite a bit is, you know, how do I, what's the timing of all this, right? So for Kickstarters, you know, they, generally speaking, there's 30 days to raise all of your funds. And that 30 days is critical. For us, ideally crossing our fingers, it's going to be in late July and August. So the month of August is when you're going to see us on Kickstarter. And we really need everybody to um, you know, go ahead and plunk and pitch in and do the pre-orders on that first day. That first day is critical because if the project succeeds on the first day, then it gets picked up by Kickstarter.com itself and you know, other media start to pick up on it, right? And it'll only grow. So it's not just helping us you know, connect with your rescue family. Um, through some of these actions. It's really also to connecting with the board game uh, community as well. And we have, you know, we have other plans to, you know, engage with them, right? That's our responsibility, but we are excited to bring your rescues and your rescue family perhaps back to board games, right? And, and, and maybe you haven't played board games in a long, long time, or maybe you play them all the time, but uh, we would be delighted and honored to be part of that part of your game collection and part of your game night. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's Kickstarter. That's what we're going to try to do and, you know, why we need a groundswell of support. Um, you know, again, with 40 rescues, like, you know, interested and going to pitch in all of those voices. Um, I haven't done, I haven't, I haven't done express counts, but that could be up to 40,000 people that we're mm -hmm. talking to already, mm -hmm. right? There are, you know, and, and some of your, and some of these rescues, some of you rescues have more than, you know, a thousand people that, that watch you. 
Um, and so, yeah, we're all going to share and share alike. And, you know, hopefully that's enticing enough, right? Where if we can, if we, because we want to be the board game for dog people, um, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah. Next thing I'll talk about is, you know, it's, it's, it, it's probably the biggest question that I'm getting right now is uh, other, other factors of timing. So we get on Kickstarter at the end of, Jan end of July, and we're done with the fundraise round in August, by, by the end of August. There are some, you know, factors. Kickstarter is the one that's going to have the money, hold the money, and then, you know, they take some fees, and there's a couple other groups that we need to, to pay out to. And so it could take, you know, 30 days to kind of do all the transfers, make sure that, you know, the customers are getting what they, what they signed up for, um, you know, and we're going to try to make that really, really easy. We're looking at working with a pledge manager so that anyone who pre-orders through Kickstarter will get a survey. And if they need a phone call for how they, you know, what is your shipping address, what, um, you know, confirming how many copies you wanted. Um, and we might be able to produce some additional add-ons, right? Um, but no, no spoilers there. But <laughs> um, except, you know, unless you wanted, you know, this print or some of the other illustrations in, you know, a larger format that you can frame on your wall or pins or t-shirts. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about add-ons at some point, but, uh, yeah, the core, the key, the key thing is for your, for our rescue family and for your rescue families, uh, and supporters, we want to make this as, as easy of a process as possible. You may never have used Kickstarter before. You might've heard of it, but never actually backed anything. So we're going to try to work with a pledge manager who can really help walk anyone through this process, right? With a, with a, you know, with a high degree of care. Um, once all that happens, once the vendors are paid, we then get the money. We then also have to send money to the printers and start getting all the fulfillment done, um, and, or at least started, right? And so, you know, what does that mean for a rescue? Well, ideally, crossing fingers, again, if we support, if we um, meet and surpass our goal, um, we could have the money. Uh, any monies that we are planning to donate to the rescues by December of this year. And I know that this year has been especially hard for a lot of rescues, um, you know, working on, you know, what do we do about fundraising? A lot of our events are not happening, mm -hmm. um, you know, or we may have missed one of one or two of our, you know, big fundraisers like an auction or a gala or something like that. So we're really going to try very hard to get you the, to get you funding, um, you know, uh, get you funds um, before the end of 2020. Right, um, that's our goal. So, um, and again, <laughs> a lot of it relies kind of on the top part, which is our rescues and rescue families. Um, from there, the printers, the shipping of the of the copies and things, we are we are not a hundred percent in control of it, but we are working with experts in the field. Right, we're working with people who have done Kickstarters before, printed board games before, printed a lot of board games before. And um, you know they're going to be helping us to really try to get this project uh, printed, quality checked, and into your living room, um, ideally by February 2021. Right. So because we're not a you know big company that can just go ahead and print games and uh, you know just put them on a shelf, we're going to we're coming to you. We're coming to the community, and that's why we're going through Kickstarter because that is a a creator's opportunity to connect directly with that community. Um, while I'm here, Sarah and Kiki, do you guys have any experience with Kickstarters, backing Kickstarters, working on Kickstarters that, you know, for our audience who may have never used Kickstarter, anything that you would share with them, like about being a customer, a pre-orderer on mm -hmm. Kickstarter? Kiki, you want to go first? Uh, no, I got nothing. That's all you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I have been on both sides of Kickstarter. Um, I've been uh, a creator, um, not never a sole creator of a project, um, but I have been on uh, teams of various different shapes and sizes going to Kickstarter. 
Um, and it is so it, something that I find interesting about pitching Kickstarter is that like it is it's been around for so long and to me seems like such a staple of like if you're on the internet and you're creative and you were like a fan of things it's kind of ubiquitous but a lot of people you know react to it with a little bit of trepidation when like I always reassure people like no this has been this is a tried and true method that creators have been going to for a long time now to get their stuff made um, outside of the normal like you know, you ha you have to know some folks <laughs> to get your like stuff published the direct way, especially if you're an artist or an artist collective, if you are an individual creator with like a comic or something like that. Um, you know, it's before Kickstarter, it was a very uh, kind of tenuous situation to like, you basically just had to like get on your hands and knees and beg publishers to pick you up. But now um, if you can make a thing that's cool enough and enough people like it, then you can just take it to Kickstarter and have your thing made. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of an institution at this point. And so like in my, uh, I've backed plenty of projects and I've been uh, a creator of uh, two at this point. Um, and it is, uh, it's always like, every Kickstarter is gonna be different, um, but it's always fun to see like the community come together to make a thing. Um, with, you know, all the, the energy and the, like, kind of hope <laughs> that that comes with. Um, I was on a, a Kickstarter with um, an artist collective that I was a part of briefly that made an art book just of a bunch of cool fantasy illustrations. And then I was a part of a Kickstarter that did a, um, a sketchbook series of, like, really high-quality watercolor sketchbooks with Etcher Lab, um, which was so much fun and amazing. Um, and both of those had different communities of enthusiasts with them. Uh, the first just being like folks who like neat fantasy art, which like, who doesn't? Um, and uh, watercolors who were like, uh, watercolorists who were kind of sick of <laughs> regular old sketchbooks not doing what they wanted. Um, and like both communities had passion for the thing and really like showed up and were excited to be able to, you know, kind of monetarily it, it it feels like being part of a secret club like <laughs> you're you're a fan of this thing you're gonna get a really cool thing and you get to take ownership of making that thing happen um yeah i don't know i have a lot of feelings about kickstarter i love it a lot <laughs> awesome so no that's that's perfect so kiki i know obviously um well, you let Sarah go first. So, yeah. <laughs> what is your what is your opinion, or like what 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 do you know at this point? Like, if you're you know, as as you're you may not be as experienced with Kickstarter as Sarah or myself. So, any any thoughts that you can share with uh, with folks who are in the same situation, where like I've heard of it, maybe this is the first time you've heard of it. Uh, yeah. I mean, Kickstarter is great. I'll just throw that out there. <laughs> um, I feel like. Uh, to Sarah's point, it's awesome that it's basically given some power back to creators, you know, instead of having to, you know, know somebody or do the right things, get your project published, you can just be good at it and make a good thing mm -hmm. and people will uh, support it. Um, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know why I haven't supported any Kickstarters because I've seen a lot of really cool ones, like mostly like art books, um, mm -hmm. art books, uh, some other board games. I've seen video games on Kickstarter. Like lots of lots of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure one of the games I'm playing right now is was on Kickstarter. Um, anyways, uh, generally have positive uh, feelings towards it. Mm -hmm. Can't really say anything yeah. bad about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's yeah. like I said, it's kind of an institution totally. at this point. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. think it's 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 different because it is different from straight up and down pre-orders then it's it's harder to explain to people who mm -hmm. don't don't know it but it is like you know it it's it's an institution <laughs> yeah and i want to give a, a few uh, metrics around that that institution as, mm -hmm. uh, as sarah's called it kickstarter has got has raised for creative projects a little over five billion dollars. Wow, that's amazing. The number of successfully funded projects is a hundred, one hundred eighty-three thousand one hundred fifty-one. Goodness. So that's a lot of cool projects, new ideas, right? Of creatives going directly to the community, right, to make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, the total number of total backers on Kickstarter 
18 million. Wow. Repeat backers is coming up on 6 million. Jeez. Repeat backers. Yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Yep. So, um, yeah. So Kickstarter has been around for quite a while. If you need, you know, if you want to look at what I'm looking at, kickstarter.com forward slash uh, help forward slash stats. Um, but yeah, they are, you know, they are an institution for creatives. Again, going for, coming directly from the creatives mind, heart, soul directly to the community to try to bring something great. Right. And so, um, yeah, again, just looking to look at all of you, the rescues, looking to all of you, our, our fans, um, to go ahead, sign up your rescue and then ask your, your following, your rescue family, your friends and family, right? Hey, sign up for this Kickstarter with me, right? Let's make, let's make something cool. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, you know, let's bring some, let's bring some good news <laughs> to, to everybody. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, Man, five billion dollars in creative yeah, projects. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. You know, and uh, you know, it's it's nicer than you know, people who pre-order this, they're getting something out of it, right? They're getting they're getting a cool thing that is exclusive, not available in stores. I mean, that's kind of the very specific thing about it. It's these projects are not yet brought to life help us right you mm -hmm. think it's cool we think it's cool uh you know and and um yeah so highly encourage again everybody sign up join in and um you know where we're looking at at pitching the project right now if if you if you and your supporters save one dollar a day one dollar a day from now until we launch in july 31st you'll be able to buy this a copy of this game if you say 50 cents from this point a day, you'd be able to buy a copy of our game. Because what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to, you know, bring it to Kickstarter. We know how much we're going to, um, we know what like a, 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 a retail price would be. And we're going to try to discount that, right, off in, in Kickstarter. So you're also, so not only are you helping a project come to life, not only are you helping rescue dogs not only are you bringing positive um conversation to shelter rescue themes and uh infusing this story right with joy and play you're also too right gonna get something cool that you can't get in stores um mm -hmm. and you know other fun i mean just you're part you're gonna be part of a group that uh, that helps make a creative thing come to life um yeah uh, other things for timing uh, and other thing, you know, any other questions online? I'll pause there because um, we've been, I've been hogging all the oxygen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this call. Um, you know, if, if there's any questions out there on on uh, YouTube, looks like we're all caught up here on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Any questions? I no? don't see any. Um, just Elle oh, congratulating us on 40 rescues having signed up. Which, thank you. <laughs> Pretty great. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. So, so forty rescues have signed up so far. Um, there are over a hundred that have signed up as far as like we're interested, but they haven't sent us their full details. So we need those full details. We need your high res logo to make it all happen. So help us out. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And then yeah, once once Kickstarter you know happens and we've you know launched this thing, um, one more you know one more fun thing is that we want to get to you know we want to start being the the board game of of all um dog people what we want to do is we want to go to your friendly local game stop game shop right flgs so we want to go to the local board game shops because we are all about small business i mean a three-person team brought this to you we are all about a small business you know <laughs> Uh, and so what we really want to do is we want to go to those small, uh, you know, friendly local game shops and contribute to them and let them be our retail outlet. We're going to try to avoid going to like a big box store, like, uh, you know, or, or some other um, like online, like direct online. We really want to make this for the community, by the community, bring people together. Um, 
you know, so if you're a game shop and you love dogs, or if you're a game shop and you know your customers love dogs, you know, hopefully, you know, put this in, put this in the shelf, put this in, put this in the in the display case, and maybe somebody will come up to you and say, "Hey, how much is the doggy in the window?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I, I I'm that way. So sorry. <laughs> In that way. That's the perfect my, way to describe it. <laughs> my, my goal, my goal this entire project is to make sure that Sarah and Kiki have continued to smile, uh, smile <laughs> and, and laugh through this project because, I mean, they they signed up to work with me and I am not an easy person to get along with. So thank That's you both. Yeah, that yeah. is that That's is extremely odd. not true. You could make friends with the paper bag. Don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you made friends with me. So, <laughs> are you calling yourself a paper bag? Is that the... uh, are you a paper bag? Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. There's there's that song where you know you might feel like a plastic bag, but yeah, you know, yeah. So, well, you know that gonna... thing when people are like, oh, you couldn't punch through a wet paper bag. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm the wet paper you were the... bag, <laughs> and you could punch through me. So. <laughs> So, um, yeah, yeah. So we have fun. We're a good team. I mean, our team, it's a super team. And I cannot tell you, uh, you know, enough, both of you, how delighted I am, how thrilled I am. Like, both of your design, your art, your element, your eye has all contributed to bringing this game to life. Like, when I, you know, I came up with it and I'm like, yeah, I, I think that this works mechanically, mm -hmm. right? But to have these dogs smiling at, at us, to have the box uh, art looking at me, like, oh, mm -hmm. like, I'm, it's, it's so close I can taste it. You know? yeah. So, you know, that's, uh, that's another thing, you know, for, for rescues or other potential Kickstarter backers. Um, you know, a lot of, sometimes a Kickstarter will say, we've got an idea and it's going to take us two years to execute and implement. Mm -hmm. We're really just six months away from making this happen and getting it to your game night. Mm -hmm. So help us out, you know, sign up, do all the things, share with your friends, um, you know, and, and and all of, as silly as it sounds, those likes, shares, subscribes. Heck yeah. <laughs> are, are all about, are what we're all about right now. Um, and don't think of it as like, you know, oh, well, I just got to help the machine. Um, those likes and those follows, they, they save lives, mm. right? So I'm talking to the Kickstarter audience out there. I'm talking to the rescues out there. You all know. Right. The more that you can, you know, help us climb to the top of the dog pile of <laughs> algorithms <laughs> and, you know, Insta, you know, posts and things, um, the better our project will do for you. Right. We're really here to work for you. Uh, and I hope that that, that really comes across. Um, I'm going to take just cool. a moment. Um, we... Poor little Leo needs uh, he needs something. He's been asking me to go outside of things. So I'm going to be right back. Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, I'll continue to take up the take up the airtime. Um, one okay. more thing that that we have for rescues um, and anyone considering signing up, or you know, maybe people who are Kickstarter enthusiasts or board gamers, right? Like, why should you back? You know, why back this game? Or like, you know, is it a one shot? We're not a one. We're not a one hit wonder, um, especially for our board game, uh, especially for our uh, rescue partners. We want to be donating to you uh, for every year that this game is in production. So let's make this the first big hit. Let's get noticed. And every year afterwards, right, when those copies are being sold at your local game shop, you know, know that a portion of those are also coming to you, right? We're committing to you for a long-term type of relationship. Um, so again, you know, another thing that we can ask you to do is have your rescue family, you know, tag, tag, uh, you know, your local game shop and say, Hey, are you going to carry this game when it comes out? Because really that's, that's why a board game shop is going to buy a game. Not because I call them or I email them and I say, Hey, I've got this cool game and trust me, dog people are going to love it. It's really about you saying, Hey, I'm. I'm interested in this game. Can you get it for me? Right? So maybe if you're uh, not not as comfortable buying on Kickstarter, call your local game shop. Tell them to back it for you. Let us ship to them. And then you can pick it up. Right? 
um, for rescues and game shops, we're hoping to make new friends, right? And uh, you know, I, I think that that's a a big part of this is blending, merging. Well, frankly, my two worlds. But uh, you know, uh, I, I hope that we can open new doors of opportunity, uh, of community, uh, with one another. And that's why this game is called Bond because it's all about bonds of friendship, of bonds of love, bonds uh, between um, ourselves and our animal companions, uh, bonds with ourselves and each other, right? Playing a game. So yeah, that's my wax poetic on that. <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, and, and so that's what we're committed to uh, for, for long-term uh, with, with all the rescues. So hopefully that answers that question. Um, Kiki, Sarah, anything you'd like to add about kind of, you know, the long, the, the long tail of this relationship? Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. They can hear oh. you though, so go for it. Oh, now they can hear me. Okay. I assume anyway. Um, it looks like Streamlabs is telling me my audio is okay. Please, uh, <laughs> anybody in chat, please let me know if it actually is okay. Anyway, Kiki, do you, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. No worries, no worries. Yeah, I checked Facebook. Facebook sounds good, too. Great. Um, yep, we're doing the best we can, folks. We're, we're doing it live. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, so you know, in, in, it for, in it for the long haul, not a one-hit wonder. We want to grow with your rescue family. We want to become part of your rescue family as well. So, you know, we're going to be subscribing and liking and following you all back. So uh, go ahead, do that for us, and, you know, we'll respond right away. Um, cool. Uh, let's <laughs> Now let's tackle some of the other questions that I've gotten. And these questions I love, just absolutely adore. Could not be better. So um, as you can see from the illustration that uh, Sarah is finishing up here, the uh, the game will include a you know pretty particular set of dogs at least at first right so um, we have we have been able to fund the design and art for uh, for six dogs you'll notice that there are eight dogs in here because this one was so important to us this illustration was so important to us we thought we would also to include the Kickstarter stretch goals. So our game starts off with the Golden Retriever, the Lab, the Border Collie, the Basset Hound, Pomeranian, and Jack Russell Terrier. So the, so the dogs that we have designs for and are ready to release, but we just need a little bit of extra funding, is going to be the Boston Terrier and the German Shepherd. So if you want to see a Boston Terrier, and a German Shepherd in the game, make sure you're sharing this project with your friends because we want to see them in the game. Um, you know, we just need to know that the demand is out there, right? Well, um, perhaps no then... one more than me because I have a Boston Terrier <laughs> and I love Boston Terriers. They're my favorite. I love every dog breed is my favorite dog, but the Boston is my favorite breed of dog. And um, <laughs> when we, you know, when I, it occurred to me like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> the Boston isn't guaranteed to be the Kickstarter has to do good in order for my my son my my favorite breed to be in the game um so yeah what there's there's a lot of skin in the game for me um rescues mm -hmm. yes of course this is very important that we help everyone but like please I want <laughs> I want my dog in the game <laughs> that would be tragic yeah oh. that would just be tragic. don't let us fail don't yeah. let us fail <laughs> for, for Leo. yeah for Leo and Sarah. Yeah, for the the one that interrupted the stream and made me had to get up and messed up the audio and everything. Um, <laughs> I think I showed it to camera before I, I gave it to him um, just to ask him very nicely to be good and don't interrupt the stream anymore. I gave him a little a Kong with some uh, treat stuffed in it that he's going to have to like work hard Ooh. to get them out. <laughs> a puzzle. A yeah. puzzle toy. Excellent. A puzzle toy with treats inside. Is he gonna draw one, play one, or is he gonna play it with two <laughs> instincts? Um, he's he's probably uh, he's going to play um, 
an instant card to make me discard some of my obedience cards. <laughs> and by that, I mean make me lose my temper when he <laughs> finishes this very quickly and then immediately comes back and asks me for another one. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we, have, we have six breeds of dog ready to go. We have two more that are going to be waiting in the wings, so help us release those uh, and we'll do it. So one of the big questions that I have is why don't you have a, and I'll just say insert breed here. Hmm. Um, the reason why we chose, why I chose these first, uh, you know, these first six and then eight is because these were the uh, most popular breeds according to the AKC um, for, for this year. So for better, or for worse, they're just more, they're just recognizable dogs. They uh, have very distinctive features. Uh, they all also um, ranged in the sizes that we wanted to talk about. They all have the personalities and the, you know, um, you know, temperament, obedience, just kind of like the activity level that we were looking for as well. Um, so that's how they came in, came to be in this first set uh, of dogs. What does the future hold? Well, <laughs> as as many board gamers know, uh, we there are opportunities to create expansions for the game. So thing so Dogs Bond is, you know, a game that has like I said six dogs expandable to eight dogs and oh and sorry if we get to the eight dogs then this game is playable not by two to four players but two to six players. So we need your help because the dogs come with additional ability cards that will be unlocked that we can work on that we can then deliver to you so uh, another reason why why we're going to kickstarter is that they have these things called stretch goals where if the community raises enough monies from you know for the support of this project then the project says well you know we don't we can create even more content and everyone gets it right so uh, that's really something that we're very excited to do for you um so yeah we if we get you know we'll get we'll get that um those dogs out if we hit our stretch goals uh crossing our fingers but beyond that let's say the game's successful and you know we are able to uh really start making this a recurring you know annual thing and we get we can we would love to start developing additional dogs additional dog breeds i should say into the game so uh additional dogs like you know chihuahua shiba inu um the senjis right we have ideas mm -hmm. we have ideas for sorry kiki I oh no it's fine i had something stuck in my throat <laughs> Do she said um, dobermans <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I and so you. uh thank you, know, you. pit pit bulls akitas uh you know french bulldogs american bulldogs um you know we also have designs for those uh so for those pit rescues who have been asking me, you know, are we pit friendly? Uh, absolutely. I love pity bulls. Uh, mm -hmm. They are so cute. They are so good. They're such good dogs. Mm -hmm. And so what I plan, what we plan to do, and I've already talked to Sarah and Kiki about this. We're, we're in it. Um, if you support us for it, um, we want to develop the uh, French bulldog, the American bulldog, the, um, you know, Doberman and the pit bull, right? We want to add four, four dogs, We'll add a couple of event cards and do some other stuff with that expansion to the game, right? So you buy this, you buy this base, you buy the base game or whatever. But if we can get to the expansions of the game, we want to be able to sell that game, and any and all proceeds from that pack is going to go to organizations to fight breed-specific legislation. And if you don't know what breed-specific legislation is, it's basically uh, you know, where cities, counties uh, around the U.S., uh, actually around the world, have made it illegal to uh, own these dogs, right? And that's just not fair. Mm -hmm. And so there are uh, there are legal funds that are trying to get these laws overturned and, and affect change uh, in a positive way for these animals. And, um, you know, we want to support them. We're, we're all about it. Um, you know, one, one person who, a famous person whom I know, uh, who was affected by this breed-specific legislation is a, a famous actor. His name is Sir Patrick Stewart, and he plays—he's uh, a Shakespearean actor. He plays Captain Picard on Star Trek, 
and um, he rescued a pit bull. Um, oh, I think her name was Gracie Pepper. Aww. I can't remember. And um, and he rescued her when he was living in Los Angeles. Love this dog. Just love this dog. When he moved back to the UK, he said, "Okay, I'm just moving back to the UK. I'm a you know I'm I'm just like everybody else. I need to bring my family, which includes my dog." Mm -hmm. And he was not allowed to bring his dog. Oh my gosh. Allowed to bring his dog to the UK because of breed specific legislation that just said outright no pit bulls. Hmm. So he was really heartbroken. And I know that this is a this is a theme that uh, you know kind of strikes a chord with him. Um, but yeah, he uh, he was unable to bring um, his dog back to the UK because of these like, this kind of legislation. So if you support us and you know make this happen we want to create something for you give you something that then adds to dogs bond and the dogs bond experience and the dogs bond conversation the rays are going straight to fight that kind of nonsense mm -hmm. um so yeah um oh another just you know fun fact because i'm a big star trek geek um <laughs> is that actually there's the uh, new, new Picard show, which is um, you know Sir Patrick Stewart's return to his to the role that made him like you know kind of internationally famous, um, is in the show he had Captain Picard, a beloved character in the Star Trek universe, has a dog, and that dog is a pit bull. Aww. He specifically asked that the dog be written into the show, be a pit bull, because he was trying to show that a beloved character in the Star Trek universe had this breed of dog. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really, really strong statement to you know say, hey, I want to have this animal, have this breed recognized on an internationally recognized show. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so who knows, right? Like, subscribe, share. Maybe somehow Sir Patrick Stewart hears about our project. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> um, you know, and so uh, the the opportunities if we work together or the opportunities as we work together really are limitless on this, right? Um, I would love to I'd love to have a conversation with Sir Patrick Stewart. That would that'd probably, <laughs> you know, that, that'd be great. I mean, yeah. but it would be it would probably be second to actually getting Dogs Bond out to you guys. <laughs> like that's really what we're here, what we're here for. I don't know. Maybe okay. Maybe it's a, no, no, no. Getting Dogs Bond out. <laughs> number one. Number one thing for me. And so, <laughs> and so, the motivations are revealed. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, do you want me to speak this into existence? <gasps> Just me. Okay, uh, after we fund Dogs Bond, because that's totally going to happen, and we buy a yacht, Sir Patrick Stewart will come and talk to you, all of us and hang out with us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Will he play the game with us, please? Absolutely. <laughs> but he will, he will say, why is there not a pit bull in this game? Hmm. <gasps> that's true. That's, that's true. true. Don't, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll get a timeline together. We'll get a timeline together. That way when we go to him... We'll be like, okay, yeah, don't yeah, don't worry, yeah. Mr. Patrick Stewart. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> We've anticipated your need. <laughs> we got you, so, Pat. We got you. We got can you. we call him so, Pat? I speak into existence that so we can call him Pat. <laughs> I don't want to call him Pat. He's. I, I don't think I can do that. I want to call him <laughs> Captain Picard. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we call you Captain? Especially yeah. yeah. On board or not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Sir Patrick Stewart won't want to hang out with us at this rate. <laughs> well, but he's gonna for the dogs. Yeah, for the dogs. He'll do it. He'll do it for the pit bulls. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, there's that. Um, so additional dog breeds definitely as an opportunity. More event cards. More, uh, more copy. You know, more uh, attribute cards. You know, we've got a lot of we got a lot of great ideas. We are bringing to you a product that is ready to go and if we fund our project but we don't you know blow our goal out of the water or like you know make the 
make the eight million. Maybe if we're shy of the eight million by a few million um, <laughs> dollars, like <laughs> like two cents. It'll be hard to get through, but we'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, then in that case, right, we still have a full product for you, right? We still have a full uh, game that has been reviewed, vetted, designed, uh, and yeah, ready to be printed. All you have to do is say yes. Um, so yeah, um, let's see, timing, additional dogs. Oh, okay, here's my favorite one. Well, second favorite, I guess, answer that I got. So. Um, and actually, you know, I want to say thank you to Nancy from the Naperville uh, County Humane or Naperville uh, Humane Society over there in um, in Illinois. I think um, we spoke this morning, and uh, you know, she is very, very interested in this, and um, you know, is ready to go to her board of directors. We have given her her uh, our press kit. We have some additional details that I emailed to her after our conversation. But really, her question is, you know, where the Humane Society. What about cats, right? And um, we are 100% on board with this idea. We are bringing to you dog spawn first, but if you are a rescue or a shelter that, that deals with both cats and dogs, um, we do have a long lasting design with this. So the game itself is called Bond and, well, dogs bond, but the system is bond. So. The way that I liken this, what I liken it to is when you hear about, hey, we're going to play Game of Thrones Monopoly or Ninja Turtles Monopoly, you know what you're getting into because I said Monopoly, the game, right? So similarly, I'm hoping, planning, that Bond is going to be a similar type of system that a lot of people learn and know how to play. And once you understand Dog's Bond, then... You'll see maybe in 2021. Well, maybe I have to give Sarah's, Sarah and Kiki's wrists a, a rest. <laughs> so maybe 2022. But um, you could see Cat Bond coming to, you know, coming to you soon. Screen. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah. Sarah, Kiki, any thoughts on kind of like either, you know, the expansions conversation or additional like ideas around the the game system itself given the designs mm, i mean i'm just super excited for <laughs> like the idea of expansions excites me so much because like there's been so much um i mean obviously alex you fine-tuning this game and like with the mechanics and everything um it, it, it is a, a base fully functional thing but then the idea of shaking it up and adding in new dogs, new adopters, new mechanics is like mm -hmm. so exciting to me. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not just because I would get to draw more do more dogs and cute cats and stuff, although that does factor into it quite a bit. <laughs> so, Kiki, so Kiki, you were uh, you, something something sounded like you said Doberman. So what do you let's <laughs> let's talk about the game a little bit. What do you think? the doberman special ability would be oh man <laughs> oh i mean that's such a hard question i can't believe you would put me on the spot for this <laughs> oh yeah 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 you're on it now we're doing it a lot <laughs> i think it would have to involve something around their speed and like general gracefulness you ever seen one of them them dudes run they mm -hmm. go they go choo it's great. Um, so maybe maybe something that they can like uh, draw draw two cards instead of one. Although that would probably break their game. Because <laughs> they're, they're I don't know. Be balanced. Game's pretty strong. Game's pretty strong. Um, they also I feel like they have like a like they're so pretty, but mm -hmm. also like intimidating mm -hmm. in a way. So maybe mm -hmm. they have like a mm -hmm. counter attack. So if someone tries to make you lose lose some of your attributes, or if and they can play bow, then it just like reflects it. Mm. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you tried to take my stuff. Well, jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love interesting. The, I love the speed thing. That's really interesting yeah. to me. Um, yeah, they're, they're that fast. could that could benefit. Yeah. I mean, like currently, you know, we have uh, it's house rules about 
who gets to um like for something like spilled garbage or um like mm-hmm. whenever it's an all play everybody needs to draw currently it's just house rules but what if if the doberman gets to it first then they can like draw two or something like that um uh, yeah oh yeah that's great like actually reliant on the player speed yeah uh, dude you guys would hate playing with me <laughs> i am like have you ever played spoon yes i'm a spoons champion yes, yes. <gasps> bring it spicy <laughs> food and spoons it's, it's yes. on it's on <laughs> yeah. yeah good luck so- so I'm thinking about it, and maybe what maybe what it is, maybe what it is is like the Doberman. If the Doberman receives an instinct card, right? So somebody plays you an instinct card against the Doberman, mm-hmm. is what I mean to say, mm-hmm. right? So Kiki, you're the Doberman, and I'm yeah. the I'm the I'm the Pitbull. German Shepherd. Pitbull. Oh yeah, I'm the I'm, I'm the Pitbull. Great, awesome. Yeah. So yeah, you're the Doberman. I'm the Pitbull. And let's say during the game, I play an instinct card on you, and you play the play bow, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I play the instinct card, which makes you discard your top you know, card of my choice, and you Ooh. play a play bow. But maybe what it is is if you play a play bow to cancel a card, if you have two play bows, you can then steal a card out of my paw. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Because that's, that, you know... Right, because that's that's all about guarding, right? Yeah, and if you're yeah. ready to guard you, your stuff, like, yeah, well, you can try. Mm-hmm. But I've got, yeah. you know. But then I feel like nobody would want to attack you. Like they would just. I mean, isn't that isn't that what the intimidating factor is? Well, that's it, true. it's also the gamble because, <laughs> like, if you have yeah. two play bows, what are the odds that you have two? That you have one, first right. of all, but that you have that you're doubled up on them. It would be <laughs> yeah. a real. Uh, it would be a real gamble. Nobody would want to attack you, but also there are pretty good odds that you're not actually going to be able to activate your special ability. So, mm. especially yeah, it's kind of if, a rare... if we're <clears throat> in the game and you are like my main, uh, you know, you're Competitor. you're yeah, exactly. If you're my main competition, then I could see it being worth it. Interesting, spicy. Mm. I like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe every time the, or maybe every time the. Um, Every time the Doberman plays a play bow, they have to draw one, play one. Mm. Yeah, I like that too. It's like I need to get, like I need to get him down. I need to get him down, right? Or and then and then yeah, the intimidate the 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 um, you know, very strong facade. None of the players want to want to you know play an instinct against you, but sometimes mm-hmm. the event cards will flip over, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like boom, you must discard something. Uh, because you know you got skunked or or something mm-hmm. else. So if you if the Doberman then plays the play bow, then they get to draw one, play one on that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not completely up to other like the players. Yeah, right, right. But the players know they're like, mm, if I get this wrong, not only am I negated, then you gain something. Ah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Right, and then and then the game, which you know, if the RNG. Uh, isn't with you <laughs> or it's against you right maybe then it flips up it's like nope i play the play bow and they get to draw one play one yes <laughs> mm-hmm. that might yeah. be interesting yeah you know what i think why don't i think we just did that i think we just designed <laughs> something heck yeah <laughs> can i put the my resume now yeah i was about to say <laughs> extraordinaire kiki force <laughs> <laughs> do it do it so um yeah and well, if you're if you're still if you're still hanging in there with us, uh, this is exactly like what it is we want to do, right? We need to have these conversations. We need to have additional kind of what else is there type of chats. Um, I was having these conversations. Well, I had a few. I have very good friends who listen to me, um, friends and family who listen to me talk about this a lot, and they didn't have nearly as much to go off of. They had, you know, cards that were pr- like handwritten cards. Um, you know, me asking them about, you know, what they thought about other games in reference to my game. Um, and it was really tough to piece together. And I think that's probably what took so much of the time, you know, back in 2017, 2018, when I was really scrambling and scratching for, you know, opportunities to, to bring this together. But now with the art, 
uh, you know, we can play it, we can see it, we can, we can, uh, you can feet, get the vibe of it. <laughs> yeah, you can taste it too. Um, well, I haven't been able to taste it yet because I've only been on tabletop simulator and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> haven't been able to physically but lick soon. them, but soon, soon. <laughs> um, and you know what they're going to taste like? They're going to taste paper? like victory. Oh, uh, no, that too. <laughs> victory and paper. Both the paper of the things. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah so so yeah um help us please this is we're going out to the community and because and i'm and i'm pitching a lot of this stuff to the rescues and pitching a lot of this stuff to our uh listeners because this is our last art live stream folks uh other than this we i don't know like i don't know what we're committing to um <laughs> as as this portion of the project kind of winds down um but don't worry, if you're interested, uh, you know, when we when we launch our Kickstarter page, and you'll be informed if you sign up, join the pack, um, you know, we might be able to do some more uh, tabletop simulator playthroughs. Um, we also have stretch goals that if we raise enough funding, um, Sarah will be doing additional art for the game itself. So more art, uh, go gorgeous art like this in the game. And again, everybody would win. Everybody would get to benefit from, you know, additional unique pieces of art. So hopefully you guys help us out with that too. Um, maybe you just know a dog, maybe you know a dog person who's an art lover. Send them to us. Maybe you know uh, a dog person who loves unique art. Send them to us. Or a board gamer. Or, you know, somebody who... Take any gamer. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take any gamers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh man, that'd be an amazing so present. Yeah. Can you imagine getting somebody who is a dog owner and plays board games a game with their dog in it? Oh my gosh. Yes. I mean, I can imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be a me thing. Please do that for me, someone. <laughs> I feel like they they would be like, you know, I will never receive another gift again. Yeah. This is it. This is the pinnacle of gifts. This is the one. That's <laughs> it's, right. It's done. I win. It's, it's been nice, <laughs> my 26 years of receiving gifts prior to this point. Yeah. <laughs> but it's over. It's canceled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do um, yeah. Do y'all know why I saved the uh, Border Collie for last here in this illustration? Uh, for thematic continuity. Yeah. Cause nice. the first, <laughs> <Not in one. laughs> well, the first, the first piece that I did officially for Dogs Bond, um, was this image that you can see on the left, which is the, uh, Collie, um, feature image, the image that appears on the Collie's card. And so the, that's the first image that we did. And now the last image that I did is also the smiling Collie looking at the camera being super cute. Oh, poetic. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's a lot of stuff we covered. You know, it's a lot about program. It's a lot about what's in it for our rescue partners. What is Kickstarter? We went through a lot of stuff tonight. So um, anything, any questions out there? Looks like we're all caught up on, um, on Facebook's comment section. So I think we're doing okay. Yeah. Any other questions out there? No, I think we're caught up on um, uh, YouTube as well. My son, Neil, you know, okay. he's going to Great. Blinky. Mommy's working. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's like he's pawing at the back of my chair. I don't know if it's picked up on uh, the microphone, um, but he's pawing nope. at the back of my chair, um, asking me for help to get under a blanket. And I'm like, you are you are a grown man. You are a grown boy. I raised you to know how blankets work. But he just he wants mommy's help. <laughs> he's spoiled to death. Uh, did he figure out the the puzzle toy? He did, yeah. He's uh, at, at, at uh, left on the other side of the room. It's all empty. So that's what I I, I called you it. You were like, "What's he? What's he gonna do after that?" I was like, "Well, he's going to steal some of my obedience <laughs> and frustrate me because he's gonna insist that he doesn't know how to make a blanket and is gonna make a make a thing on stream while I'm busy." And that is exactly what he busy. did. Busy. <laughs> uh, I love it. Love it. So. uh yeah, awesome. Well, we've got a little bit of time, so I'm kind of curious. I mean, I've thought a lot about what this project 
is the potential where we're go where we can go with this and like we're almost we're all like a, as much of the work has been complete so far um we're only coming up to the starting line so <laughs> when you think about when you guys think about like expansions or additional breeds or additional event cars or anything else like about the game expansion wise um what do you guys think about at this point hmm. um i think about you know, like oh sorry go ahead hmm? no yeah you, you... <laughs> right ahead hmm for it sorry you broke up a little bit that's all right that was me telling you you should talk because my internet's screwing up oh god <laughs> Okay, well, uh, do it live. Makes yeah. sense. Live. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I think a lot about um, Cat's Bond. I'm really excited to do breed specific stuff. That's like another. That's probably the next step is doing. You know, instead of embarking on a whole other game, <laughs> it's doing. Uh, you know, like continuing to do good stuff for rescues that need it, being like breed specific or bully rescues. Um, but I also like. I think about how. Um, we, we've talked about before uh, there being pieces of mine in this game that you can kind of clock as things that have happened to me. Um, so, like, like uh, the, the Splash one, for example. Um, there's a dog splashing in a mud puddle and, like, being super, <laughs> super jized about getting everybody wet. Um, that's happened to me. There's a dog stealing food happened to me. There's a specifically a Boston Terrier stealing food. Um, happens to me a lot. Um, so, like, <laughs> I'm, I've been thinking about um, Cat's Bond and about how uh, I don't I don't really have those I've, I've lived with cats but I don't really have a relationship with cats like that um, so I can't you know I don't know how goofy their faces look when they get their head stuck in something or <laughs> or I don't know like I don't know just those those cute little moments that I've tried really hard to put into Dog's Bond that I don't know that I can do with Cat's Bond and so it, it's occurred to me like, oh no, am I going to have to do like a research thing and go play with a bunch of kitties? Oh no, whatever am oh, I going to yeah. do? <laughs> like, I just get to go play with kittens. Um, yeah. Just, you know, f to be responsible. <laughs> yeah, of course, responsible. Yeah. yeah it's, it's research I also, for the game. I have plenty of cat stories that I can, <laughs> I can supply you with. You can help me out with that. Yeah, for research purposes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alex, what are you? Forward to you're looking forwards to um, to expanding the the design of Bond as like a as like the game. That's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, enjoy that. Yeah. What about for you, Kiki? Um, I I don't know. I think I I'm really looking forward to. The, the breed expansions as well mm -hmm. um, just because uh, there's so many dogs there's there's a lot of dogs out there um, <laughs> and I, yeah. I don't know I think part of the the fun of this for me has been like seeing the artistic representation of uh, all of these dogs that I'm familiar with in real life and it's like you know how sometimes when somebody draws, somebody or something it almost looks more like them than it does in real life mm -hmm. because they're incorporating like their personality like their their life energy mm -hmm. essentially into the piece and i feel like you you do like a fantastic job of capturing like the essence of a dog oh. you know <laughs> and it's like i look at that pomeranian and i see like a grandma spoiled pomeranian <laughs> you know like, yeah <laughs> there's there's more to it than just looking like the dog i guess mm -hmm. so I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to seeing, you know, more more of those, especially when we move to other animals. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Cats, cats, and, cats frogs. and frogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to work hard on the design for Frogs Bond because, I... you know, well, <laughs> but but I mean, you know, I mean, the the attributes that are in this game, right? Grooming, <laughs> obedience, <laughs> temperament health so i guess like probably like temperament and health probably come into play i don't I mean, know if i would ever say that's a well-groomed frog like, <laughs> well, it's, first of all frogs all have the same temperament and it is 
not good. <laughs> they just kind of exist as a blob. Um, Same. So maybe temperament can be replaced with blobbiness. <laughs> yes. Health, health is definitely directly proportionate to how slimy they are. So um, Sliminess. Okay. Blobbiness and sliminess. So sliminess. You got two. Blobbiness, sliminess. Um, I feel like um, agility. Agility mm, is probably good at hops. Good hops, hopping. yeah. There we go. Hops, hops yes. How, how much ups can they get? It's <laughs> very important. I've got 12 ups. <laughs> Man. My, my frog, bless his heart, he was such an idiot. Uh, <laughs> he would literally like be hunting down this cricket, right, with all of his power. And he, he wouldn't see it hop on top of him. And it would just be sitting <laughs> on top of his head. And I'm just looking at him, and I'm like, you're so dumb. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but, yeah. They can't see unless something moves. Fun fact. Hmm. Like they're, basically the turn, they're basically T-Rexes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like a, a T-Rex's blobby cousin. <laughs> uh, Photoshop, do you want to reset my view there? There we go. Um well sorry i got like really into talking about frogs there for a second well that's okay i like hearing about <laughs> frogs okay. you're passionate right i mean yeah. yeah that's and see that's a group we actually haven't re we 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 tried to be judicious about about our list that we reached out to right we wanted to get to this time dog rescues um so i did get a big list and i did remove the reptile rescues so you know, we are we are focused, uh, you know, on, on on those who share the mission with us. But as soon as we figure out frogs bond, I mean, <laughs> there's some people we can talk to. <laughs> yeah, I got you covered. <laughs> I don't know if I've I didn't actually know that they had reptile rescues. Uh, do they include amphibians? I'm sure, it depends on the organization, yeah. I'm sure. But I yeah. mean, like, oh yeah, my they're, gosh. they're pets. You know, they're animals that need help. And living things. So um, yeah. can I go to the aquatic animals rescue and get a goldfish? Well, maybe. Maybe they have some fish that need help. Maybe. Um, I actually f followed on YouTube for a while a guy uh, in um, in the Outer Banks, North Carolina, actually, who was a reptile rescue. He rehabilitated um, people's snakes and reptiles and frogs, and you know, uh, he even had a couple axolotls. He like you know just knew how to take care of reptiles and. Uh, they're the kind of pets that, like, you know, people will get a python, not understand it's going to get big, needs a lot of food, needs a lot of care, and then they, you know, it gets too big and the person doesn't want it anymore, or they don't know how to take care of it, um, you know, and so he, they, he's, yeah. they need a place to go, and he was that place. Um, there was one video he had of um, a, it was a high school, a high school's pet. Um, pet snake that they had, a pet uh, boa constrictor, and no, wait, no, boa constrictors are the ones that are like giant, right? They're um, enormous, yeah. Yeah, well, they had um, it was it was a, a giant giant snake that they had had for years, um, but then the school shut down. They like I don't know mm. if it was they were moving or what it was, the funding or if it was a remodel, something like that. But basically, like, there's nobody in the building, nobody to take care of the snake, nobody knew who's snake like who was responsible for it and so uh, they uh somebody who a student at the school knew this kid and was like hey um it, there's just a snake nobody knows what to do with it it's a giant it took like three people to lift out of the thing and she didn't like she was not um handled or anything she was completely like feral but he like has video of her slowly coming out of her shell and stopping biting people it's actually really touching um Oh man! But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there's there's all kind of rescues. We got we... a question in the chat. Were you gonna say that, Alex? Hmm? Oh yeah. What about birds? That's a good thought. Yeah. <laughs> it is because I feel yes. like birds live a long time. So, mm -hmm. or yeah, some of them time. do. Uh, yeah. So. I mean, birds bond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hey, mean, yeah. alliteration. <laughs> there it is. It's Bond. Good old BB. Yep. So, um, <laughs> yep. Support. Yeah. Support. Uh, hmm. Interesting. So then we have, so we would have dogs bond. We would have cats bond. So that's D and C. 
We then would have birds bond. That's B. Okay. A. What? What's A? A is Amph amphibians. Yeah, amphibians. Is... <laughs> what? Yeah, amphibians. So then we'd have A, B, C, D. I don't know if there's an animal that starts with an E. Elephants. That people rescue. <laughs> elephant no, people rescue. Oh, yeah. People do yeah. rescue elephants, people but not in the same kind true. of way. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, well, uh, don't worry. I, I have a I have an idea for that already. For mm -hmm. elephants. So. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, that'll take us down a whole nother work. That'll take us down a whole nother stream, and we're out of art. But uh, <laughs> you know, I don't we, know we if my enough. trunk is big enough. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, right, <laughs> y'all get a six rotor, and then of and course the F for over. trunk bond. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we, and this is the last one we did. <laughs> <laughs> the mic drop of the century. <laughs> Um, so I'm putting this art, this isn't final, Kiki's the one that does this, of like actually putting the art in the frames, but um, I think we're done. Heck yeah! And that's the card. What? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, look at that! I feel proud of myself for timing out this painting. It took me so long um, with all these dogs, and I was like, I didn't know if I could do it in one day, but here we are. We did it. Wow. Okay. We did it. Alex, Almost. ask me the question. <laughs> Wait, I feel like it's a setup. <laughs> it literally is a setup. It is. Walk into it. <laughs> All right. So, so, hey, Sarah, when is this game going to, when is this game's art going to be done? Now. <laughs> it is. We did it. It's yeah, done. We did it. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> wow. Do you want to have a bottle of champagne? Yeah. Oh, man. Hold on, let me try and imitate the noise. <laughs> Thank you. Can we, get a, can we get a, hang on, let's see if I can, let's see, champagne pop noise. Um, yeah, with party poppers, please. <laughs> there, it played on the stream. <laughs> the sound of champagne popping awesome. and pouring. I love Perfect. it. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I can't believe it. I mean, I can. I mean, we've been <laughs> yeah. doing this, but like also too, I'm like, wait, I can say that? So, wow. So, um, <laughs> cool. So, uh, we've had, cool. we've had, we've had, we've had so many, so many times I've asked this question, even when we, you know, when we first met, and in December, and we said, hey, uh, you know, all this art, and this is what we need to do. Yeah, w w when do you think the art will be, when do you think this game will be done, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> when is the art going to be done? Uh, well. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's always been an, uh, <laughs> as I try and do some math. Um, yep. No equation. more math required. No more math required. Well, some math required. Um, if no we... more math. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you. If you want me to have to do more math, <laughs> then then our Kickstarter needs to do well, and then I'll That's have to right. consider uh, what was it like sixteen? The potential for sixteen additional pieces added to everybody's everybody's game. But if you everybody's want That's right. your dog and you in the game, then there's a tear for that, and I'll have to do some math about when your painting will be finished. And, and you, excellent. And you, Kickstarter backer, will get the illustrious honor of being able to do make Alex's joke of asking me when it's going to be done. You will also <laughs> get the true. honor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this! Look at it! It's so fun, and just all of the dogs are just so happy. And you've given the golden his trademark like mm -hmm. grin i love it <laughs> yeah so happy he lost his eyes <laughs> <laughs> yeah well they you know we, under it's, it's 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 a group photo somebody's gonna be blinking <laughs> <laughs> true yeah <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah i want to know like what wizard sorcery the person used to take this photo <laughs> <laughs> they just told him it's adoption day and they're all like, oh. Human? 
love it. Oh man, love it so we'll much. Save this as its own thing. Oh yes, yeah, save, save early, save often. <laughs> man, I'm so awesome. glad Procreate auto saves after every stroke. Wow. Yeah. Does that not take? Is that long? not just like a huge? Yeah, drain yeah. on the memory and no, no it just it knows. Works perfectly fine. Wow. Because I freaked out when I first used it and I went to save it and it's like there's no save function. It just saves after every pen stroke. Wow. <laughs> Procreate is good. Um, yeah. Um, cool. So so today we officially changed the mantle of the question. From hey Sarah, when is the <laughs> when is the art gonna be done? When's the game gonna be done? We shift it over to Kiki. <laughs> and you know, I accept this. I accept this mantle, and uh, we'll be done in June. <laughs> exactly. Well, we, we're gonna be on we're gonna be on Kickstarter, so soon. we're ready. We're ready. We're ready, everybody. So uh, awesome. Um, this is fantastic, and it's on time. Yeah. Look at how good we are. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We knew what we were going to do today. We had, you know, had a lot to chat about regarding Kickstarter and why rescues and, you know, the timing and what's in it for them and, uh, you know, answering some questions that we got. So um, if there's no other questions out on the, on the live stream in the comments section, if there's no other questions or, you know, Final thought. I don't know. Well, let me ask. Let me ask this, Sarah. How does it feel? I mean, you have, <laughs> you've, you've just, you've just achieved, you know, achievement unlocked, right? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is a big. It's a big piece of work on a very tiny canvas. So, <laughs> how? I mean, how? Has it, does it? Will it hit you? <laughs> what from like a an illustrator's perspective, an artist's perspective, what happens when, you know, you kind of get to a situation where, yeah, I, I worked on this big project like and, big thing and this part of it, my contribution is over. Yeah, it's yeah. done. Well, now um, what? Well, so I've, I've had a, a couple kind of like this. Um, I did, I know I've brought up a uh, Pokemonathon before, which is the uh, challenge to draw every Pokemon in order, no skips. Um, which I completed over the course of seven years, which if you're not familiar with Pokemon, anybody watching, there's they're little creatures of which there are like 800. Um, yep. <laughs> and so I drew 800 of them again over the course of seven years and wrapping that up was just like pin drop. <laughs> like uh, it was, it was uh, a weight off of my spirit because I was finally free. But that was kind of different because I put myself in that situation and, you know, I promised to do it in 2013 when I was a lot younger and 800 drawings sounded like it made sense. <laughs> and then later on... Well, there weren't even 800 Pokemon. Yeah, there weren't even that many at that point. Um, and so it was, it was, it felt like being free of a thing and being able to just kind of like wash my hands and, and go away from it. This is very different in that like I feel... Like we made a we made a thing, and it's not like it's done, and I'm gonna walk away. It's like it's everybody look, it's done, and now I get to shove in people's faces and say like, look at this thing that we made, look at this this <laughs> mountain of work that I did, and like the amazing design that went into it, and the solid game mechanics. Like it's it's it doesn't feel like the end point of a thing. Um, I'm really proud of of how far we've come and how much we've done, um, but that's always been the case. This is just another another step of it, and like you said, like this is we're just we're just at the beginning. Up to the starting point, mm -hmm. up to the start line. <laughs> so that's awesome. Well, I mean, congratulations! Like, yeah. this is amazing. Like you've done, <laughs> you've achieved, frankly, what I don't think any other artist was was able to fathom doing. Um, <laughs> I've talked about this a lot, right? Like working on working with other uh, artists, or you know, trying to kind of come up with um, the right mix of a team. Uh, nobody, nobody really wanted to take on this amount of drawings. Nobody wanted to take on this level of detail, this amount of storytelling in their art through illustration. And um, except you, there was only, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know.
reading your um, your illustrations and uh, just to see it come together is just wonderful. Just mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I maybe maybe like a frog being boiled slowly, where <laughs> I said yes to the amount of work without actually conceptualizing. This is a lot of stuff, but I mean, it was it's all a lot of stuff. It was all fun. Like, there's not a you know, this, this is what I do. I'm a painter. I have fun doing it. <laughs> and I'm a little bit, just a little bit crazy. <laughs> Works out. <laughs> For it, congratulations. It's well, great. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. One, one story just to catch up, to catch Kiki up actually too, is um, so yesterday, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Wow. Um, I was able to play, um, play Dog's Bond with uh, my sister and a couple of her friends on Tabletop Simulator, just kind of, you know, show them what we were doing and, and all that stuff. And um, four players, but the game took, like, closer to two hours rather than the hour 20. Not because of anything that anyone was doing wrong, but because we were actually pausing every moment to kind of appreciate the art, the story, the momentum that was being carried in all of this art. And then, um, which was really just a delight, um, the other compliment that we had was that um, before, like with all the cards laid out and with all the um, adopter boards, they said, yeah, no, this design makes sense. I kind of think I know how to play already. Mm. Mm. I was awesome. like, yeah, 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 <laughs> do that, do that. Yeah. Um, and then fortunately, you know, Sarah was able to join us for like the tail end of that call, which I think then ended up being like a 20 minute like compliment. Fest yeah, yeah. For you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex is like, you're free to join if you want. And I, he didn't say, you know, like, oh, also, <laughs> everyone, as soon as you come over, <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, the artist. And like, you know, complimenting. It was really nice. I meant to mention it at the time of, you know, so like, obviously, all of our conventions have been canceled. I, you know, Kiki and I both <laughs> will do, um, we go to uh, conventions and expos and show our art there. And uh, it didn't hit me until last night that I was really missing conventions because you go, you set up your work, and it's just people walking by all day going, oh, wow, oh, are you the artist? Wow, that's so cool. And, like, you know, uh, we didn't get that this year. I didn't get that just, you know, blowing my hair back, just, you know, fluffing mm -hmm. me up of, like, of course, yes, I am the artist, you know? <laughs> um, but last night, everybody was just, it was just a, a, a parade of people being super duper nice to me, and I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's why I miss conventions. <laughs> yeah, Kiki, you would have gotten the same uh, yeah. if you were awake. It was late, so no worries. <laughs> but we have the recording, so I'll send it to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I am excited for that. I'm super excited for that too, because you know now I get to say, you know, with, like, in a way, indirectly, I get to say, this is my game, mm -hmm. and point to your art, and people are like, <laughs> oh, I get it, and point to Kiki's design and go, oh, I get it, and it's not my handwriting on an index card going, I made a game, and people <laughs> going, sure you did. Like, <laughs> Um, I'm really excited for that too. Uh, you know, going back to con going back to conventions and things like that. I mean, hopefully, you know, if you guys are okay with it, I'd love it if we, you know, went to Artist Alley and mm -hmm. set up our, you know, set up where people could ask about the game too. I mean, of course, you guys have larger portfolios than just Dogs Bond, but mm -hmm. maybe the next one or or two, you can bring us along, and uh, you know, maybe some of our fans can meet you in person. Just tell us where you are and. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, no, I absolutely. would love that. Love it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Gonna have mm -hmm. these on the table. I've got um, uh, books that 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 other that previous Kickstarter that I mentioned for um, like the artist collective art books. I've got those. I'm always pointing out to them, and it's always fun to have work on the table that's not just mine. And he oh. knows this because uh, I make this joke every time someone comes up and compliments one of her prints because it's not my print. They go, "Wow, that's so cool!" And me. An artist behind the table goes, yeah, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Like, I can do that because it's not my own work that I'm <laughs> geeking out about. Um, so Dog's Bond's going to be the same way. The uh, Bone Shaker Press, the art book, is the same way. I get to, like, isn't this piece cool? Because it's not mine. I can just, you know, be super duper mm -hmm. excited about it uncritically. Um, and this game will be the same way. It's mm -hmm. like, look, I look at this thing that we made. <laughs> like, I'm in yeah. it, kind of, but Ooh. it's a collaboration between all of us. <laughs> I think... 
the card that does that the most is still the child who dropped food, right? Yeah. That's, the, that's the one where all of us is in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you want me? I can I can pull it up if you want. If you want to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. And hippo dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. And hippo dog. <laughs> where are we? So events group A. Child dropped food. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Are you good? Yep. Got hiccup. Okay. Oh, we're live. We're live. <laughs> yeah. Child dropped food. Uh, very much. Obviously, it's my painting. It's Kiki's design, and also Alex's art in this card. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> if you notice on the cup here, there's a, I, I guess it would be a design printed on the cup um, that is of what we call the hippo dog. <laughs> Alex, do you want to explain what hippo dog is? So I am fighter? not... I am not an artist. Uh, if you followed us on any of our social media, you'll see my pleas for for help in this area, in this department. And um, you know, thankfully, the internet got Sarah and myself together. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a it was a tough scratch there for a while. And um, yeah, that is is <laughs> when we were exploring, you know, different like ideas around tokens and kind of game concepts and things like that. I said, well, you know, there's going to be tokens to represent the dogs. And I wrote the words or something. And it was like all in like scratch paper. And I said, oh yeah. And this is my, you know, this is a dog token. (laughs) And I then apologized and I said, well, this really looks more like a hippo dog, but it's a dog. (laughs) And I thought that we were like done with it. Like I thought like, oh yeah, they've, They've seen my sketch. I'm talking about like bringing it as a meeting, and then and then something magical happened. <laughs> <laughs> we memed. That's what happened. We just noticed him, and he's so charming. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, this was this actually um, we did the child dropped food art during a stream that is on our YouTube channel. Um, so you can go back and see the moment that we. Um, I don't. I don't remember how or why hippo dog came up in conversation Um, i think hoku was like hey put hippo dog in the (laughs) illustration or put hippo dog in the game yeah Yeah, and then we were were talking about it and (laughs) right here like it fits on this cup right Mm -hmm. here and (laughs) yeah i think i want i thought about making it a drawing on the kid's shirt but then you wouldn't be able to see it enough so now it's (laughs) it's on the cup front center it's in focus (laughs) Um, immortalized forever <laughs> yeah <laughs> so Alex, your hippo dog uh, merch as a stretch goal <laughs> yeah yeah we'll make hippo dog we'll definitely put hippo dog into like one of the like temperament cards hit mm-hmm. our stretch goals come on everybody we need you we need you <laughs> hippo dog needs you yeah hippo, <laughs> hippo dog hippo dog summons you <laughs> yeah. awesome well if we're done with uh, the comments and uh, we're done with the art, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to encourage us to uh, wrap just about on time. But <laughs> thank you all for those of you who joined us uh, live and those of you who are watching this in the future, um, or maybe myself as I watch this in the far, far future. And, <laughs> you know, hey, Alex, there you go. <laughs> wow, that's um, meta. Yeah, this is delightful. Absolutely wonderful. And, and, you know, one of the fun things was like, you know, when we even first started, started talking about working together, you, you were the one, Sarah, you were like, yeah, what if we did live streams of the art? And I'm like, we can do that. <laughs> so all of this has been just wonderful. Thank you again, Sarah. And congratulations on completing. I don't know how many illustrations at this point. 88. I, thought, I know she how many. 88. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. <Every> <laughs> So awesome. Okay. Well, um, great. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, sharing this project now not only makes this project come to life, but also too helps all the rescues and uh, saves lives. So remember uh, to share this out. Uh, find us on our webpage. And uh, the question is now Hey, Kiki, when is this game going <laughs> to be ready? 
Yeah. <laughs> Tweet me at Dog Pond Game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit, hit Kiki up at Dog Spawn Game on Twitter. Uh, actually, can you tweet me at Sarah Mills uh, Art? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had enough. I've had enough of that. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you again to our uh, live audience. And if you're in the future, um, hey, pick up this game, Dogs Bond, at your friendly local game shop. Mm. It'll be there, and it's oh, yeah, from Meta. <laughs> speaking it into the universe. Love it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <sighs> okay, team. Well, I yeah. think that's a wrap. Thank that's you, everyone. A wrap. Last dark yeah. stream we did.